Right now, they have Hunter um, in a different area because he's having trouble breathing, so I can't be with him right now. I have these uh, things on my legs. Compression to make sure I don't get blood clots. Just really out of it. And I really want to be with him, but I can't be with him tonight. Uh, I got to visit Hunter right after surgery and um, I got, ended up getting out of bed too soon to go visit him. The nurse let me out too soon and um, I think that I was just like overwhelmed by everything. I told Travis I felt sick like I was going to vomit and then he said that um, my lips and my face were as white as a wall. I fainted in the NICU and the nurses were running me down the hall with my wheelchair and they ended up giving me, they ripped open these ammonia packs to try to wake me up and um, I guess that didn't work so they ended up having to put me on the bed and leaning it all the way backwards so that the blood flow got to my head and then they put an oxygen mask on me but the nurses in the NICU said that I scared the crap out of them and they've never ever dealt with a mother fainting like that so uh, they said they just deal with babies they didn't know what to do they're not like trained to deal with like adults and stuff like that so the nurse ended up having to run and get another nurse in another area and she was uh, screaming for her to help I guess and she said that I really traumatized her because she said that she was thinking about going into the career, uh, the ER, but because of what happened to me, she said that she'll never do that again because she said that she, I guess, she said you went down and she said your face was as white as the wall and she, I guess she thought maybe I was going to die or something. And then she said it scared her because I wasn't even responding to the ammonia packs that they were putting under my nose. And she said that that stuff was so strong that she said that she could smell it like across the room. And she said that she freaked out and I didn't even like react to it. It's just strange because when they put the ammonia inhalant under my nose, I remember that I jolted back and my eyes opened briefly and then I passed back out. Um, and I just remember that I couldn't breathe and I was just, just thinking that I'm gonna die because I can't breathe at all, like struggling to breathe. This was um, sad for me, seeing him like this. And he was just so cute and I just wanted to pick him up and hold him and I wanted to breastfeed him and I wasn't able to because he had that um, those tubes in him which they were feeding him from. So he ended up um, getting used to the bottle and his pacifier once they were able to get the tubes and stuff out of him and I felt very sad. And it was sad seeing all the other little babies in there and the parents that would come and visit. Just very traumatizing being in there. It's just a depressing place. And hearing the monitors and everything. Um, and then you kind of like Travis was saying that he felt guilty because Hunter was so much bigger than the baby next to, to us. That baby was 26 weeks old and just like 
the tiniest little baby, but I never wanted to look into the incubators just out of respect. So I didn't want to like look at the other babies, even though I saw a couple that were not um, covered, of course. It was just sad because um, I had to um, give my son colostrum through a uh, these syringes um, and then they would put it into his IV or, or the tubes. I'm not sure how exactly they fed him. I know the tube going through his nose was how he was getting food. And it took me um, two weeks to be able to breastfeed him. He latched on immediately after he was born, but then he just got used to the bottle, so he had trouble latching on. Um, it took a lot of patience to be able to just get him to breastfeed. I just felt defeated and horrible for Hunter, but I was happy when my family visited. And Travis and my parents bought me flowers. I was trying to be up for them. Love you. Congratulations. Thank you. Trying to be happy for them. Oh, you got the uh, anti uh, phlebitis you know how, like, stockings on. They leave their wives or girlfriends and they just never come back. They always go out either for a gallon of milk. I, oh, yeah, I've heard And a that. pack of cigarettes. Oh, I, does she smoke those? No, I just I bought these because I, like, I went out to go get a pack of cigarettes and I get like, some milk and I came back. This is what the fellas it's a joke. Do when they leave the women, they say they're going to the store to get them something. Yeah, like milk. Get some milk or. Uh, Pack of cigarettes. <laughs> you want an IPA? Um, he doesn't have meconium in his does he? Um, I don't know if there was meconium at birth. He could. He yeah. definitely has birth fluids in his lungs. Okay, okay so that's kind of like a pneumonia. Kind of. It's not infected. He just has to work. This was the first time they let me hold him, so I was so happy. <laughs> Doing kangaroo with him. He is so asleep right now. In his nose. Mm -hmm. He has so many things going on. I really cherish these moments like so much. Just when I was able to see him and and bond with him. His tiny little hand. I love doing skin on skin contact with my son, but it's not just important for us moms to do it it's very important as well for the fathers to do it um it's just it's really bonding and it's just it's good for the father and the mother and the child what do you think it's cute i was so happy when my kids came to visit him this really cheered me up Travis I wish I could take a picture of him, but I can't. Oh, yeah. What's wrong? You can touch him. Oh, is he soft? What the heck? What? Damn. What? He's soft. Yeah, he's soft. You can hold his little hand. Pick up his hand. You can pick up his hand. <laughs> oh my god, he's only like, oh. Baby, it's a little baby. Hello, grandbaby. Oh, so cute. Look how little. Yeah. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. But he looks massive on camera. Huh? He looks so big on the camera. Yeah, gigantic. Mm -hmm. well, let me see if I can take a picture. Oh, oh, oh you're videoing your video. it? Okay. What do you think? He's so tiny. I know. I want to see his little butt. Both my sisters came. Yeah, just really sweet. It's a little tiny baby. Yeah, he is. What do you think he looks like? can't tell. He just looks like a little... How much hair does he have under there? I'm gone. Pull it off. Isn't that crazy? Oh, he's awake. He woke up. No, you could pull it off. Go on. No, it'll make him, it'll make him cold. He woke up like he's suffering. I want him to open his eyes. He's sleeping. He's opened them just a little, but he hasn't opened them like, you know, 100%. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm just like one in. I'm gonna take a picture. Okay. Am I allowed to come through here? Yeah, of course. This made me really sad seeing him. It's like every time I would go into the NICU, he was just on a completely different machine and just had these tubes going like in his mouth or in his nose and it's just overwhelming. Um, this was a CPAP machine that they had him on. It's just like a little jelly pillow. You want to feel it? So I'm going to put that under his head okay. um, for comfort. And then I'm also able to kind of uh, make a little like pocket so I can have his head, head just like, and, kind of you know, a nice tall airway. Okay. Sorry, buddy. You're going to have to. This nurse, um, her name was Brandy. And she was just really our favorite nurse. Um, we got very close to her towards the end. You kind of bond with some of the nurses in there. She was actually the nurse who um, told me I traumatized her, but I told her I'm so sorry. And she was like, oh my gosh, it's not your fault. Don't feel bad. But she's like, I'm definitely not going in the ER anymore. Um, she's like, I'll stay with babies. Is that like him breathing when the that, machines? Doing that tells that? us that he's getting the pressure that he needs. Okay. Has he gone to the bathroom? Like, oh pooped? yeah, he had done pooped. Been pooping it's all day. A... Oh really? Okay. Yeah, he had pooped last night too when Dad was at the bedside. So that's good. Yeah. Like he's. Oh wow. There we go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's crazy. He likes to play games. We always say he likes to play games. <laughs> right on cue. He pooped right when I was talking about it. Yeah. Place next to this tube. We're gonna feed him in it. Okay. Okay. And can I change his diaper? Absolutely. Okay. You most certainly can. Absolutely. I'm happy to let you do that. <laughs> it feels so strange having to ask if you can do things with your own baby because there's a lot of rules in there. You're really appreciative to the staff in the NICU, all the nurses and everyone who's helping your baby and the doctors. And But it's still hard because you want to do all the normal things with your baby that you can't. Only a few things will let you do. Travis really remained strong for us. We had our breakdowns, of course, but he really, really remained strong. He was our rock. His eyes are blue. Are they? Yeah, but they're gonna change. I mean, they might stay blue, like yours. Well, yours are kind of blue and green. Hey, bud. Oh, okay, he has a little nippy. They're using a blanket to hold it because he can't. Mm -hmm. Should I check his diaper?
homemade gift from your mom. Oh, he likes it. Something's making him uncomfortable. Let me just check. I think he's gonna have brown eyes. Cause he, but he could. It changes, you know? He pouts a lot. That was my favorite picture. My legs and feet were so swollen. After a C-section, your feet are so swollen. And your legs. It was so cute seeing his eyes open. Travis ended up taking me outside to cheer me up a little. And it was a beautiful sunset, as you can see. I hadn't been out in, I think, three days. So I was getting really depressed. Um, but it was really, it was really nice being able to go outside with Travis and just have a moment away from the hospital. This was a chapel that we visited and I tried to say a prayer, but I broke down crying so bad um, that Travis ended up having to say the prayer for me and it was just like so sweet. We ended up getting him a stuffed animal at the gift shop and I put some holy water on it and then when we left the hospital I was able to take Hunter in there and I put holy water on his forehead 
and a cross, and we prayed over the family. We wrote everyone's names down in the prayer book, even all of our friends and stuff, and prayed for their families as well. I felt sad seeing Travis like that too, just seeing him worried and, you know, as I know it was hard for him seeing me like that and both of us seeing Hunter like that. Nobody understands this type of experience unless they've been through it. And I guess like I'm humbled by this experience, even though how how hard and challenging it was for us to get through this. Uh, it just helps you to understand like other parents who are going through the same thing or the parents who are there for months at a time or longer. This is the first story just, you're it's up. horrible. You have to be so strong to get through this type of thing. And my mom went through this with uh, my older sister and my younger brother. Or I should say my youngest brother. Because he's a year older than me. I just have so much respect for parents that are going through this. And just know that you're going to get through it and... It'll make you stronger, and you'll be so happy when you take your little one home. And it'll draw you closer as a family together, just a greater appreciation for things and for your little one, who I'm holding right now with his big, beautiful blue eyes looking up at me. Yes, you're so cute, Hanky, you're so cute. I always give him big kisses. God is always, always looking out for you. Yes, hunty, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's a big yawn. You sleepy? It's a lot for him. Oh. Hi, Hunter. We waited so long for you. Yeah. Gosh, he's like... You can just tell, you know? Mm -hmm. The way he's like looking around. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, he's looking. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. Your grandmas are gonna be excited to meet you. Oh, he's true. Did you see what he did? I know. You looking around? Huh? You're just taking it all in, huh? Those eyeballs. Isn't yeah, it? he knows. He knows our voices. Mm -hmm. It's like as soon as he heard our voices, he's like, you know. Like, mm -hmm. he gets to hear your brother and sister. We're so excited to see you. Oh. Like, say something. Like, watch him. Like, he's trying to look at the phone. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh. 
he's, he's trying to look for y'all. Can you talk? Somebody. Can you talk? Oh. Somebody. Oh, he's trying to hide. He's trying to look at you. Come on here. Right here, sweetie. This is the healing garden at the hospital that they have. It was really nice walking through this area. It really is healing to be out there. A lot of names of people who have passed away, they put on this tree. Travis strolled me through this area. The healing gardens. Oh my gosh, wait. See that yeah. Thing? Little guy. Gardens. Little library. That's cool. This is a really beautiful garden. It really is. I wish that we knew about this from day one. I know. I would have. I needed this to come here. Look at that statue. Yeah, it's <clears throat> interesting with the butterflies. I like the cross one over there. Yeah, I'll go over there. They look like ruins, huh? Yeah. Like some ancient civilization. Like alien, like if you were to touch it, you would just like go into like a different portal, like a different world. And then if we can, like if you can circle around. Yeah, that's beautiful. Circle around? Yeah, so we could sit in front of the waterfall. get sucked into a, another portal if you do that. You got a penny for good luck? No. I don't even think I'll have to go. It came to me. It's the fifth element. 
save it. See what it does. Yo. Earth. Air. Fire. Come on. Earth. Air. Fire. Water. And the element of surprise. Which is? Surprise. The most dangerous element of the world. Wallace. perfect image. He is. You made in God's perfect image. In the palm of his hand. Yes, you are. And so are all these other babies that are yeah. in here. You're going to pray for those little babies too. Those are your little friends. Yes. They're your little friends too. And the grandma wish she could hold all of them. breathing is really good. Yeah, compared to what it was, it was really bad. Not jaunting at all. Seven days and they had to be like 15. Who says it's jaundiced? Yes. Sit down. Do you want to sit down? Do you want to sit down? No. Yeah. Can you send me that picture? Oh, yeah. Mammy. Mammy, I gave you, Mammy. I gave you, Mammy. That made me laugh. Travis went home and fed the animals. This is when he was just doing so much better. So we were happy. Shit. He's like, all I know is that it's like. It's like, what is it? Why is it? Yeah, I know. Hi, hunty. Hi, little hunty. Big, strong boy. It's the first time I'm seeing him. Along with his little mask off. They took it off today. So he's off the oxygen. Sorry, Andy. This was for sure the best day. Just seeing him getting better. You know, today's like really happy, you know? I'm glad. Because he like latched on, you know? Mm -hmm. Hunter ended up latching on to me for a little which was a huge improvement and it took him about two weeks to fully get it and I supplement him as well. Okay, I got a bird pump. Oh, look at that. Oh. like on his schedule where it's like I just like I control everything you know mm -hmm. it's my turn like I get to sleep feed me when I'm hungry his little eyeballs open right now he's looking around oh he just closed it how dare you? he did it on purpose you know yeah. look now now look He's gonna cl he's playing games. Do you see it open? Mm -hmm. I gotta get his nails cut when I get home. I know. Cause they're gonna and he needs his mittens on. 
but it was I was so happy seeing him like in his little outfit, mm -hmm. you know. These are the beautiful flowers that my parents bought me and then Travis got me flowers as well. And what was weird is in the middle of the night we were talking and then all of a sudden this fell over and we were like, what the hell? That is weird. We think that it was his sister coming and visiting us, like saying hi or a spirit saying hi because that thing was filled with water and it tipped over and nothing was there to cause it to tip over. Like there's no, nothing was blowing on it or anything. It's just strange. Bear's like so excited. This was the day when they made us leave the hospital and I was happy to see the cats, but, um, but I had a horrible meltdown because it's horrible leaving a hospital without your baby. Even though we went back and visited oh, him. I know. That was so cute. I know, big strong man. It's the man. face that he was making. It's like, give me that nip. Travis was like, we're not abandoning him. It's okay, we're gonna go back. When we pulled out of the hospital, I was like crying so bad. And then when I got home, It took about four days for the redness on his cheeks to go away from the mask and the tape and stuff that was around his face the whole time. Saying a high five. I know. His tiny little fingers. We came at the perfect time. You know? Mm-hmm. He's just so cute. You want to smell him? New baby smell. It is like this, he has the sweetest like a little nose. Do you think they put something in his hair? And that's why like he smells so good? I don't think so. He just has like a natural smell that's like intense. You know? Maybe the oils? Like the most prettiest smell I've ever smelled. I mean, Michaela smells really pretty too. So does Jaden. They're like, I'm obsessed with their smell. I think he has fat cheeks. Big old chubby cheeks. He has a little scratch. From his fingy nails. Yeah. I don't know if he's gonna burp. A little burpy. Come on, Hunter. Nothing. No burpee? God, he is so... No, I guess not. I'll try to burp him later. I...
milk moustache. Yeah. He's <coughs> conked out. This was his going home outfit. Dumbo, bundle of joy. He's holding his feet up in the air. Mm -hmm. We had to learn CPR before leaving the hospital with him. You want to open the door? Hmm? You want to open Aww. so you guys can meet him? Are you gonna I see? Jane, you're sitting in the middle because you're in the middle. Wait, how do you even sit? Mom? Jane, you're sitting in the middle. You're gonna have to sit in the middle just for now. What, what? do you guys think of him? He's cute. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome home, Hunter. Just want to see how the cats react. Sit down, see if they'll come. Maybe. Bye, Rock. They're like great, another one. Yeah. You want to see how onion? Well, you'll have to hold her mm -hmm. back. She'll get too excited. I'm a, I'm a holder. Just so she could get a quick smile, you know. Yeah. Okay. Is there a pee in the diaper? No. The diapers are just poofy like that. Oh. Onion. It's fine. 